I'm the CEO and co-founder at Reka Initiative Sunan Bahar. We are an R&D company that specializes in uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning, especially in self-driving cars and autonomous vehicles. And I've been a member at this stage since August 2020. So uh, as an R&D company, uh, uh, it's very rare in Malaysia to have an R&D company. Um, usually R&D is in an institution or in university setting. So for uh, Reka, we help our clients to develop technology or solutions to either give more value to their current customers or to help their problems day to day. So we use artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, uh, and even robotics to actually help our clients to solve their day to day problems. Um, I started uh, Reka back in 2014 uh, and before that I was uh, cyber in cyber security as well as a computer science um, engineer uh, back in the States and when I came back to Malaysia I always wanted to have my own sort of tech startup so then I started on my own R&D company here. Yeah. Uh, it's been going uh, great, um, although the, the pandemic was a bit unfortunate, but because of that, the um, use of uh, technology, digital transformation and artificial intelligence has uh, sort of like soared up and uh, we are actually uh, have our hands tied with uh, helping our clients to actually go digital in this time. Yeah. Pre-pandemic, it's pretty hard to actually uh, convince uh, a lot of companies, organizations to actually go digital or use a uh, new kind of technology. Uh, because simply because everything is just working fine and uh, they are used to how things are and then uh, when the pandemic hits uh, it was a, it was also a slow couple of months for us uh, in the early um, uh, pandemic but then towards the uh, mid year of 2020 we had a lot of requests from companies to help them to go digital because now everyone is being locked down and they can't operate their companies right so everyone uh, wants to have everything either working in in digital, in the cloud, or even remotely. So this is where we come in to assist these companies to either use existing technologies, upscaling their uh, employees, or even develop new technologies such as using uh, autonomous vehicles or even robotics to actually help them operate without having anyone present at the facility. It actually helps people in the awareness of the use of digital technology. It's not that everyone doesn't know the digital technology is actually benefit, uh, beneficial for them. It's just that they don't have the initiative or the push to actually go digital because everything just works. But the pandemic gave a, a, a sort of like awareness for everyone that, hey, we need this kind of technology moving forward. It's not just because of the pandemic, but even after the pandemic, technology will help them to go greater heights. So this is where um, they wanted us to help them to go through this kind of journey. So generally being in a, in a tech startup, you would definitely need to know some sort of programming. So there's a lot of programming languages, so you probably want to start there depending on what kind of applications you're building. For me, uh, myself, I started with uh, web-based programming and then I go to hardware or electronics uh, programming and then that's where I go into robotics. Yeah. Okay, so as an R&D company, there, uh, there's not a lot. There, there's only a couple of companies that are actually doing R&D because Malaysia is not the research kind of country, right? So there's not a lot of um, companies privately that are doing R&D. Uh, but in terms of robotics, there's uh, also a couple of other uh, companies out there. And especially uh, look at uh, drone. Drone is technically a robot and is the most, I would say, the most mature in terms of applications. So there's a lot of drone companies uh, here in Malaysia. But specific robotics, uh, uh, there's not a lot. But for autonomous vehicle or self-driving car, we're technically the only company here and back in 2016, we're the only company in Southeast Asia to have built a successful self-driving car that goes on the highway. Being a CEO, because I started my background in engineering and technology, so I'm not, not really the executive type, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm really into the development and the, the coding and stuff. Yeah, that sort of people. So, um, uh, and then we're at a point where we're growing, we're accelerating, and then we're looking to expansion to other countries as well. So then the uh, I need to understand uh, financial, structural, as well as organizational uh, management as well. So going to this stage sort of helped me to actually understand different different parts of the company that um, I need to learn. So I basically don't know what I'm I don't know. So going to this stage, uh, having other members uh, sharing their ideas, their issues, challenges, and uh, solving them each other will help me to actually realize okay hey maybe i'll be needing that kind of solution down later down the road and i can apply it in my own company yeah i think one is diverse experiences because uh, for me um, i come from a very technical background 
So um, and although I I have other sort of like founder friends, but they're also in technology background. So coming to this stage, understanding um, how a CEO CEO would look like uh, or what they're thinking of in a different kind of industry, or uh, helps me to actually get that kind of uh, a variety of experiences that I would never be able to do on my own. Growing together, I guess. So like. Um, I thought initially when it comes to this stage, it's all about business, but then uh, they also talk about personal health um, and, other, and other challenges in life that would in eventually lead towards how well you run your business, right? So we sort of like grow together uh, in our sessions, understanding each other's problems and how we can sort of make our lives better with each other. I would say fast pace. So uh, in my group, the, some of the uh, other CEOs are very, very I would say um, uh, uh, very very fast in, in, in terms of how they do they do things. So it's sort of like fast paced uh, at the same time. So I have to sort of be on my toes and just keep up with, with whatever the mem other members are doing. Yeah, I'm learning every every time I come. Uh, there's always something new that I learn. Um, it's definitely an uh, an education that. Uh, uh, you might not get uh, any elsewhere especially for me coming from a tech background i wouldn't learn uh, all this um, company essential stuff i was in yeah housekeeping and things like that lah. yeah yeah perseverance is what i would uh, say is because um some of the uh, uh some if not most of the ceos in my group uh they come from a long uh, line or they, they have a lot of experiences in being a ceo um, or run their own company. So I'm just I'm just starting out. Technically, I've been running this for nine years, and it's just like um, a dent in the years of the other members, right? So they help me understand that uh, this is not a sprint when you're building your own company. It's not definitely not a sprint. It's something that uh, uh, you persevere. It's the stamina you need to to be always in focus and persevere in whatever you do, especially in your business. He has been quite firm and stern in his, I uh, would say, <laughs> mentorship or, or guidance. Um, uh, he definitely, okay, because for me, when, uh, because I'm building my own company and, uh, and I, I, I guess every tech uh, startup founder would definitely understand that you're always in the clouds, I would say, because we, uh, we're always dreaming, we want to do something big, it's very ambitious, we always think of the future and when, when with Dato, it's always grounding us back on earth say okay hey this is reality this is what you need to be doing i know that's fun but this is what you actually need to get done so that's how um, most of my conversation with dato he is definitely the kind of person that um, keeps you grounded in terms of business and get your head in the game and focuses on the real thing that needs to be done instead of things that you just um, think up uh, out of nowhere right yeah. we're very much an engineering kind of company where we go where the, as far as when developing uh, is concerned we're quite uh, on top we know how the engineering uh, flow should be uh, but when it comes to managing the company is a bit different uh, you have HR you have accounting you have finance you have all the administration stuff and all of this was, uh, was a little bit over uh, everywhere so coming to this stage, uh, although they don't directly say, okay, you need to do this to do that, but hearing from what the other members are doing, it's definitely an eye opener. It's like, okay, if they're doing that, probably I should be doing that as well. I should be keeping tabs on this as well. So, and it made me a bit more structured in how I run the company itself. Yeah.